In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the MyAuth bundle. It's a simple bundle that will get you set up with a login, sign up, and dashboard view. It uses the built-in Laravel authentication as the base. So I'm just going to dive right in. And on my screen, what I have here is a blank Laravel installation. And I'm pointing my host authentication.dev to that blank installation. And inside of my code editor is the root directory of that Laravel folder, which is just uh, authentication folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the GitHub page where this bundle is located and I'm going to go down to the readme and just walk through the installation. It's three easy steps and I'll just walk through them with you. So first I'm going to need to install the bundle so I'm going to need to go to the root directory inside of my console and I'm just going to go ahead and type in php artisan bundle install and I want to install the myauth bundle. And just like that, it has been installed. If I go back to my code editor and look inside of the bundles directory, I have a new myauth folder, which is the myauth bundle. And the next step that we'll want to do is we're going to want to tell the application to auto load this bundle. And we'll do that inside of the application bundles.php file. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the application and open up the bundles.php file. And I'm going to add that line to the array right there. And I'll just save that file and close out. And now the final step is we are going to want to run PHP artisan migrate myauth, which is going to create the users table. But before we do that, we need to make sure that we've run the PHP artisan migrate install. So if you haven't done that yet, which I haven't because this is a blank Laravel installation, I'm going to go ahead and run that right now. So I will run PHP artisan migrate install and just like that it's created the table and the next step I want to do is I'll just, I can copy and paste this or I can just type it in and now I've just created the users table from the my auth bundle so actually just like that we've added the my auth bundle and we can go to our application and go to whatever the host is and slash login and once we go to that page, we're presented with a login page. So we can try some things. And it's going to say incorrect login. That's because we haven't set up a user yet. So we can simply go to sign up. And I can add my email address and put in a password. And after I have created a new account, I can simply log in. I can log in if I use the correct login credentials. And it shows me my dashboard page right there, which is just very simple, just a welcome back, shows my email address, and then gives me a log out button. And so if I try and go back to the dashboard, then it's gonna just shoot me back to the login page. So inside of the instructions, you can see the routes that we have, which is login, sign up, log out, and dashboard. And that's basically after you install the bundle, those are the default routes that are set up. And there's some configuration that you can do. Let's say, for instance, you wanted instead of the sign up to uh, route, instead of it saying sign up, uh, it could be register or login, could be log me in or whatever it is you want from there. And another configuration that we can do is we can specify uh, where we want the, after the user logs in, where we want them to be redirected to. And I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick how we can do that. If we go inside of the bundles and the MyAuth bundle, I can click on the config and open that up. So like I said, you can we can do the sign up. We can say register. And then we can maybe make the login route like uh, login foo. So if I go back to my application, I can type in register and it shows me the register or sign up page. And then if I go back to sign up, it's not going to show that page because we have changed where we want the route to be. So now if I click on register and I'm just going to register another user, john at johnsmith.com. 
And after I've created that, it'll automatically shoot me back to the new route, which was login foo. And I can log in using those credentials. And then it just sends me back to the dashboard. I can click on log out and it will give me back to login foo. So I'm gonna go ahead and just change those routes back because there's one more thing I wanna show you. <clears throat> so let's say instead I wanted, uh, I didn't want it to be slash login. Maybe I wanted to be able to go to uh, slash auth slash login or whatever slash login. I can easily do that by adding something more inside of the array that we've added to the bundles.php. So when you uh, say that you want the bundle to auto load, you'll also, you can also add another element and call that handles. And then we can just call that auth. So if I save that, and if I just go to auth slash login, that's gonna send me to the login page. So then I can log in with the same people that I logged in before. And that's gonna send me to the application name slash auth slash dashboard. And then I can go ahead and just log out from there. And it'll be the same thing with the sign up. It'll be slash auth slash sign up. So if I go back to the bundles, I can remove that handles if I just want that to be my application name and slash login. So it's all pretty straightforward and I have all the information here on the GitHub page. And I hope that this will help somebody else out. If you wanted to add some other things to the MyAuth bundle, that would be awesome. But thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Thank <laughs> you.